So this weekend we saw the trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and it was showing off the campaign which looked pretty cool and after this this a lot of people obviously because it was a big trailer started talking about it and I don't know how this came up exactly but someone said that DICE said that there wasn't going to have a season pass for this game but it turns out that one of the game developers said that they have not finalized anything about this yet but they are listening to the community. Yo, what's good guys, it's Ken Wall, and today we're gonna to be talking about how the season pass of this game can ruin it, and especially other games. All right, let's get it. First, a season pass is an addition to the game, and it comes with cosmetic items and the DLCs for usually 30 to $50. The good thing is that the gaming community is starting to fight against this, and more and more games are starting to be more fair with their season passes. For example, Rainbow Six Siege Season Pass is only $30 and it gives you all the operators for free. And for everyone else that does not want to purchase the Season Pass, they will just have to save up their renown, the in-game currency, and buy it that way. This is one of the reasons why Battlefield 1 is doing so badly right now. Because no one wants to spend another $50 on the game. The game is already $60. I bought the game when it was $60. I'm pretty sure it's cheap now. But it's $50. That's more than half of the game. And it will only give me maps and guns. Like, come on. I just want a season pass not to be part of Battlefront 2. Or just make it exactly like the Rainbow Six Siege season pass. Because look at Battlefield 1. DICE, I was watching a Matimio stream this week and he had a very good point. DICE has not been making very good games. In my opinion, they've been on a losing streak. Look at this. They had Battlefield 4, terrible launch. Uh, what was What's after that? Oh, yeah, Battle, Battlefront. Battlefront, the first one. No content. That was terrible. And then Battlefield 1. This one's bad. It wasn't terrible. My fault. That was kind of harsh. But it just, it wasn't good. It's No one's playing it right now. And it's, they don't have enough content. And then they want to give you a season pass. The season pass, the game, first of all, should make you want to support them and buy the season pass. That's not what DICE wants you to do. They give you a terrible base game, and then they expect you to buy a $50 season pass when the game was $60. I'm going to keep reiterating that because I think that's bull, how they make you pay that much money just for the add-ons. I always, I have to admit, I always liked with Call of Duty. First of all, the only DLCs I would buy with Call of Duty were when Treyarch would make the games and it would come with zombies because zombies the zombie map would make you play differently there's always a new mechanic in the zombie maps for battlefield there's nothing new with the maps that that they come out with nothing changes with the game i don't know why like i said 50 dollars. why should i spend 50 dollars on maps that don't really change how I play the game. Nothing's really new about that. If it's $50, I should be get, getting something brand new with these maps, something new and innovative. I know this sounds really cocky, but DICE can't afford to come out with a season pass with this game. This game, to me, is all about redemption from the first one. This game is not going to be riding the coattail on Oh, we haven't had a, a Battlefront game in years. We had a Battlefront game and it flopped. It did. It did. It really was not good. I'm not talking about the sales. It just sucked. Everyone did not like Battlefront One by Dice. So this is what I mean. This game is going to be all about redemption, and that is a big step if they don't release a season pass with this game. It will definitely. It will be a good step in the right direction. I get. I will guarantee you that it will get a lot of people into buying the second game please listen to me two they better bring some new stuff the game the mechanics of the game were really cool i loved being in the maps and everything it was perfect battlefront 2 you just literally need to focus on the content that's it that's literally it really you just polish polish a few stuff here and there and just focus on the content because the game, the base game is perfectly fine. We just need stuff to do. That was the problem with Battlefront. 
That's all we need. The season pass will bring this game down. Just please don't add a season pass. It's going to split the community like it always does. It splits it and no one wants to play the game after it first comes out when you start bringing in the new maps. Please don't do it. This game does not need a season pass. You need to redeem yourself. Dice, you need to start redeeming yourself from all these games that you've come out with. Season passes are just bad for video games. It's just a money grab. And especially when the game doesn't even make you want to buy and support the season pass. It's terrible. You have to focus on the main, the base game first before you start promoting your other shit. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. That should never be the case. Dice, I'm telling you, Battlefront 2 is all about redemption. You have to get those fans back that want in Battlefront 1 to be good. And it wasn't. You have to do good. You have to do good by us. By us. The people that supported the first game and were very disappointed. Redeem yourself, Dice. All right. That's it for today's video, guys. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll be back with another video soon.